Question 151. Special fibers that prevent the AV valves from collapsing back into the atria during powerful ventricular contractions are columnae carniae, chordae tendineae, papillary muscles, Purkinje fibers. Let's go over the option one by one. Columnae carniae. These are small muscular projections on the inner surface of our ventricles. Option number two, chordae tendineae. These are fibrous cords and they are attached to the flaps of bicuspid and tricuspid valves at one end whereas their other ends are attached to the ventricular wall with the help of special muscles called papillary muscles. So these are our fibrous cords and these prevent the AV valves from collapsing back into the atria when there are strong ventricular contractions. Option number three, papillary muscles, the attachment of cordae tendineae to the ventricular wall. And lastly, Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers are part of ventricular musculature. The correct answer here would be option number two, cordae tendineae. Question 152, which among the following is last to get depolarized in a cardiac cycle? AV node, SA node, Purkinje fibers, bundle of his. Students, as we know, cardiac muscle cells have the ability to generate the electrical impulses that trigger the cardiac contractions. Now, SA nodes generates the maximum number of action potentials and this travels from SA node to AV node, then to the bundle of his and lastly to Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers here are the last to get depolarized. The correct answer here would be option number 3 Purkinje fibers. Question 153 students. First heart sound is produced during ventricular systole by closure of Eustachian valve, Thebasian valve, AV valve, semilunar valves. The first heart sound also known as LUB is low pitch and is of longer duration. It's produced due to closure of AV valves. Whereas the second heart sound, which is of higher pitch and shorter duration, is produced due to closure of semilunar valves. And this closure of AV valves takes place during ventricular systole and closure of semilunar valves takes place at the beginning of ventricular diastole. The correct answer here would be option number 3, AV valves. Question 154. Atrial systole results in increase of blood flow into the ventricles by about 45%, 30%, 70%, 63%. Students, when SA node generates action potential and it stimulates atria to go into simultaneous contraction known as atrial systole it results in the increase of blood flow into the ventricles by about 30 percent the correct answer here would be option number two 30 percent question 155 the end of T wave marks end of diastasis ventricular diastole ventricular systole joint diastole Students, in a diagrammatic representation of a standard ECG, the QRS wave complex represents the depolarization of ventricles, that is ventricular systole, whereas the T represents the return of ventricles from excited state to normal state. And the end of T wave marks the end of systole. So it marks the end of ventricular systole. The right answer here would be option number 3, ventricular systole.